Hi guys, this is Mickey Rowland and today I have a layout for Hip Kit Club. I'm using the July kits. Um, I'm particularly focusing on the colour kit today because this is a mixed media Monday layout um, and I'm using a an exclusive subscriber cut file that says Summer Vibes. So I've cut it twice. I've cut it from the uh, amazing Dear Lizzie uh, paper um, that has got like the big chevrons on so I've cut it from that pattern paper um, and then I've cut it again but with an offset um, just in white and then I've layered the uh, coloured summer vibes on top of the white cardstock so I've already done that um, prior to um, turning on the camera um, and uh, later on I will go around it with a fine liner pen to make it stand out a little bit more. Um, so this is a mixed media Monday layout so I'm working on the colour kit um, to begin with so I've taken one of those fabulous um, embellishment mousses by Nouveau um, and I've used the stencil in the colour kit this month the, I love the polka dots, they're kind of like messy polka dots and I have just done two areas of colour um, on my layout there so you can see that I've just literally taken the paste out of the pot and put it straight through the stencil so really super simple um, and then what I'm doing now is I've taken a bit more of the mousse, same mousse, same colour um, and I've put a bit onto a piece of packaging, a craft sheet works just as well um, and I've added some water and I've mixed it um, so that I have like a a runny paint effectively, a bit like a spray or a watercolour um, ink, uh, paint. Um, and then I've taken my paintbrush and I'm just applying a colour wash over the area that I have stenciled. The reason I'm doing it this way is because my mousse is still wet, it's not dried yet and therefore if I was to use the packaging technique, which is what I would normally use, um, I'm going to squash all of my um, my stenciled area. So uh, I'm not, I'm, I've just literally used my paintbrush, putting the colour where I want it to go um, and then I'm added, added some splatters as well uh, of the same uh, colour. Um, so literally I've done everything just with that embellishment mousse there, um, nothing else so far. I do add a couple of other colours later on uh, just some splatters to mix it up slightly but right now um, that's all I've done. So now I need to wait for that to dry. Um, I sometimes use a heat tool but most of the time I prefer if it dries naturally uh, because I find that I have less warping that way. I find the heat tools um, make my cardstock warp definitely. I'm probably not using the right cardstock but <laughs> but uh, definitely um, I prefer to let things dry naturally if I can. Sometimes I even just carry on creating when it's still wet. <laughs> um, but uh, yeah, so I've just put it to one side and I'm going to do what I can while it's wet. I keep holding the cut file up to the mixed media to make sure it will still show. Um, I've trimmed down my cardstock to 11 and a half inches square and I've taken um, the blue uh, paper with the really delicious looking strawberries on. Um, they're like chocolate covered I think or cream dipped with sprinkles and all sorts. They look amazing. I'm on a diet at the moment so uh, that's why they look particularly tasty to me today. Um, so uh, yeah I am um, I've trimmed the middle out of that piece of paper, the, the strawberry paper. It's from Pink Paisley, I think it's the And Many More collection, the birthday collection. Um, and uh, I have uh, taken the middle out and saved that for later. I might be able to use a bit of that later on. It has a lovely pink colour for the on the on the reverse. Um, so uh, and then I've trimmed my cards down to eleven and a half inches square, distressed the edges, and then I've stuck it directly onto that paper frame with the strawberries um, so that's given me um, my kind of my layout is ready to go really um, so I've managed to do all of that without smudging my um, my mixed media which I'm very impressed with normally I get it everywhere um, and, uh, and now I've just applied foam pads to the back of my um, cut file um, and now I'm just trying to work out where I'm going to put my photo so it definitely sits better at the top I, I had planned for it to go at the bottom but um, it definitely sits better at the top so I can tuck it under that way um, so it's just covering the bottom of my photo slightly sorry the cut file which is covering the bottom of my photo slightly um, this photo you probably can't see that well on the video but is of my three children all sitting on the slide in our garden um, and they're all eating an ice lolly they're kind of like stacked up on the slide it, it's really it's a really cool photo um, they just did that they just said I didn't make them pose they just sat there I was like quick get 
get my phone, get the camera so I can take a photo. Don't, don't move, no one move. Um, so anyway, uh, they're all eating lollies in the garden on a super hot day. So uh, I love the journaling, one of the journaling cards that was in the Pocket Life Kit. In fact, I love all the journaling cards in the Pocket Life Kit. They're one of my favorite things um, in the hip kits. Um, and I've just taken the one with ice creams at the top and I've distressed the edges and I've tucked it um, under the cut file again and under my photo. So just it just pokes out to the right hand side of my photo um so i've just taken another one of the journaling cards so that's one that says july on it now this photo is taken in august so i didn't want the word july on there um so i've just trimmed off the bottom section um and created three um it was a six by four card so i've just taken the two inches off the bottom and cut it into three squares or two inches square each um and there those i'm going to put at the bottom right side of my layout um just to give me some little um um, like houses or places to put some embellishments on so um, yeah so I've just put those at the bottom just stressed the edges of each of those and stuck them in place and they give me these little areas there that I can then add the embellishments to um, so it's coming together pretty quick actually uh, it's I'm just making sure everything is stuck down um, I've just putting some foam pads behind my photo and behind my journaling card at the top there to make sure they have a bit of dimension um, and and then I'm adding a bit of a cluster at the top there not a lot um, I have quite a bit going on on this layout so just trying to be careful as to not overdo things like I have a habit of doing um, so I've put a flower at the top actually two flowers both of them are from the main kit ephemera which is super cute uh, it's exclusive to hip kit club and it's really lovely um, really summery and tropical and just fabulous for these sunny days that we're experiencing um, here in the UK at the moment uh, plus I've just been on a holiday to to a sunny climate so um, this kit is perfect 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 for all those summer photos that I have um, so in my three little boxes at the bottom I've got um, one of the pinwheels from the um, uh, crepe paper sweet story um, pack um, I've also put um, in the left square a pineapple and um, sun cream that's from the uh, ephemera then in the middle square I've got a little cocktail I've added a simple stories chipboard camera um, in the middle um, and I'm now adding some ice cream stickers from the dear Lizzie sticker book um, to the right of the journaling card at the top um, and I'm also going to add um, some florals uh, from the same from the same pack so the Dear Lizzie sticker pack uh, to the bottom right corner as well so uh, just a couple of pretty uh, flower stickers there um, and uh, and then I've got some labels that I'm adding too so I had one from the ephemera that says summer memories which was perfect um, and then I'm adding that was from the ephemera did I say that that was from the ephemera and then I'm going to add two more labels um, underneath um, that say uh, fun in the sun and heat wave which it certainly is at the moment uh, plus those cute sunglasses as well they're really super adorable heart shaped sunglasses awesome uh, my daughter did have some heart shaped sunglasses until somebody sat on them and now they are no more sadly <laughs> um, but uh, yeah so it's coming together um, just now working out if there's any more that I need to add to it um, I'm going to add some twiddles of gold thread um, because I'm, I'm nearly done my clusters are pretty much complete now so just going to add those twiddles so just um, using some gold thread so I'm putting one in the bottom right corner and then when I did this I managed to because um, I'd already stuck down the pinwheel or the rosette um, I managed when I lifted it to put the ephemera uh, sorry the twiddle of thread under um, I took all the sticky off of it <laughs> so it's really not sticking so I have to um, add some glossy accents to that to um, to get that in place uh, really maybe I shouldn't stick things before I'm ready but I do tend to put things in the right area and then just try to lift them up and add bits underneath them um, when the when I need to um, and then if I, I guess if it doesn't stick down afterwards then I can just reinforce it with some uh, with some glue so that's what I did there I've added a twiddle of thread at the top as well underneath the flowers and in front of the journaling card um, and now of course 
being mixed media, I've managed to cover up pretty much all of the mixed media that I did. So I needed to extend that mixed media a bit more. So I've gone back to my um, Nouveau embellishment mousse that I had on that piece of packaging um, that was watered down and I could use to flick paint as flick as paint with a paintbrush. Um, so I've added some more of those um, and now I just felt that it needed a couple of um, and I'm using um, two other colours that I just have in my stash. So a navy um, and a green. So just wanted to bring in a little bit more texture uh, to those splatters. Um, and uh, I, I just reached for what was nearest um, and just put in a couple of those. So just a couple of spray bottles that I had uh, nearby. So, um, so yeah, um, so I've added some extra splatters, a green and a navy, um, and that just gave it a bit more depth, really, because rather than the splatters being all one colour, um, that's what I did. Um, okay, so uh, pretty much done. I just need to write on my journaling, uh, which reads, we are experiencing a big heat wave in the UK, so the children constantly have no clothes on and we're eating a lot of ice lollies. So that's what I've written there. Um, and then off camera, I go ahead with my black fineliner pen and and go around the outside of my Summer Vibes um, cut file. And I also go around some of my mixed media splatters um, and pick out some of the uh, splatters just by drawing around them with the pen. Um, okay, so that is me done. Um, I really enjoyed this day out in the end. I, I didn't start very well, I wasn't happy, but I, I like it now, um, now that it's finished. Um, and uh, don't forget that if you are a Hip Kit Club subscriber, you get the main kit at a reduced price. 15% discount off all add-on kits and you get access to exclusive subscriber cut files like the one I made today. So yeah, I hope you enjoyed the layout and I'll be back soon. And thank you. That was Nikki Rowland for Hip Kit Club.